We have with us our regu other regu regular member of our Monday Night Live team is Kathy Romano of 93.3 WMMR. Kathy joins in now here at Chickies and Peach with somebody who knows all about being a champion. Hey, Kathy. Yep, that's right. Olympic gold medalist for the women's soccer team, Carly Lloyd. She's from Delray. Oh. And a lot of people here coming up to you, <laughs> welcoming you back. How has it been since you've been back? It's been amazing. You know, it's been surreal, and um, it's, it's a moment I'll never forget. Um, but, you know, hopefully I bring home a couple more gold medals in my career. But it was great. And this was your first gold medal? First gold medal, fun. yes. And you have it around your neck. Can we see it? <laughs> well, I mean, what, what's it like to, to have that? <laughs> it's great. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's sunk in a little bit. Um, but it's been a fantastic experience, one I'll never forget. Uh, Where do you keep the gold medal at home? <laughs> it's been everywhere lately the past few weeks, some appearances, uh, some different trips, uh, but I haven't decided what I'm going to you know, permanently do with it, probably put it in a safe spot. I'm Kathy Romano in for John this afternoon, and in Chester County we have some construction starting on Route 100. It's in West Goshen and West Whiteland Township between 202 and Route 30. This is live picture just past Pottstown Pike on the southbound side. They've already set up here. You can see the right lane is blocked. They'll be reconstructing the shoulder tomorrow. They'll move to the northbound side and do the same there. Now your alternates, if you're on 202, stay on 202 southbound. Uh, take that to westbound Route 30. If you're on the northbound side, use Route 30 or Pottstown Pike. Live in the traffic center, Kathy Romano, NBC 10 News. Now that fan <laughs> is with Kathy right now. Hey, Kath. Yeah, I am here with Chris who took that cell phone video. What was your motivation? Why did you take that video? I wanted to get the very last pitch of the game. I said before I leave here, get the last pitch. And I finally got the last pitch. And um, it was a ground rule. It was a uh, double play. And the Mets won that day. There was a lot of emotions running. The game was on the line. And the fact that Rollins made that catch, whipped it to Utley. He, he fired at the first base. I just was ecstatic, delirious. I was just enjoying the whole thing. It was amazing. Well, thank you so much for taking that video. Thank you for your excitement. Keep it up. And uh, you know what? You, you did a great job. We're glad that we got that video from you. Ron, back to you. Rush hours in full swing as we speak. Let's get a check of the traffic. Kathy Romano in tonight for John Ogden. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Vince. That's right. We do have heavy volume out there. Let's go outside, take a live look at the Vine Expressway. You can see here, this is the westbound direction, uh, and we are jammed the length from 95 all the way through to the Schuylkill Expressway. The eastbound side is slow by the Schuylkill Expressway. You can see heading up here onto 95. Doesn't look too bad. Once you're on 95, uh, northbound, expect delays from the Ben Franklin Bridge through to Bridge Street. Now, this is Route 202, approaching Route 29 on the southbound side. We're slow from Chesterbrook Boulevard over to Route 401. Now let's take a look at our maps here. This is the Schuylkill Expressway. Uh, it seems to be clearing out pretty much for the most part uh, right near Belmont and then through Montgomery to Vine. And also don't forget the construction on uh, the Schuylkill Expressway from Route 202 to Croton Road and then also from the Blue Route to City Avenue. That goes overnight, 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. So just keep that in mind. Live in the Traffic Center, I'm Kathy Romano, NBC 10 News.